Hi everyone, welcome back to Trini Kids TV. My name is Auntie Shade and it's so nice of you to join us. Now, before we get started, there's something that we have to do. Do you remember what it is? Yes, we have to sing our good morning song. So can you sing the good morning song with me? Good morning, good morning, good morning, how are you? Good morning, good morning, it's nice to see you too. Good morning, good morning, good morning, how are you? Good morning, good morning, it's nice to see you too. And a very good morning to all of you that are watching. Next, let's talk about our weather. But first, we have to sing our weather song, okay? Are you ready? Great, let's go. What's the weather like? What's the weather like? What's the weather like today, today? What's the weather like? What's the weather like? What's the weather like today? Is it sunny? Is it rainy? Is it windy? Is it cloudy? What's the weather like today, today? Is it sunny? Is it rainy? Is it windy? Is it cloudy? What's the weather like today? Well, you can go outside your window and tell me what kind of weather we are having today. Hmm. Well, today where I am, it's a cloudy day. And remember, we said that a cloudy day can mean that it's about to rain or that the sun is being blocked by the cloud. So I think today is just a cloudy day. What about where you are? What kind of weather are you having? Now let's talk about our color of the day. And our color of the day is pink. And I'm wearing something with a little pink in it. Also, I have something pink right here. Can you see what it is? Yes. It's a Next, let's talk about our shape of the day. And our shape of the day is a semicircle. Now, you're probably wondering, what's a semicircle? Well, a semicircle is half of a circle. Can you see that? So you go ahead and you start to make your shape and then you stop. It's half of a circle. So that's a semicircle. So if we had a circle here, half of it becomes a semicircle. So our shape for today is a semicircle. Now let's talk about our letter of the day. And now what comes after L in the alphabet? It's M, M. M is our letter of the day. And that brings us to our area of the day. Our area for today is Maracas. Maracas Beach. Have you ever been to Maracas Beach? Yes, and now that we can go to the beaches, it's a really nice place to go with your family, okay? And what else can we enjoy when we go to Maracas Beach besides the water and the sand? Well, we can enjoy Bake and Shark. You all know what Bake and Shark is, right? That's delicious. So we have shark and we have bake and we have nice veggies in that, that bake. So that's a really nice lunch to have if you are going to Maracas Beach, okay? Now let's sing our alphabet together. Can you sing along with me? All right, are you ready? Let's go. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Very good. Give yourselves a clap because that was really nice. Can we count together? Let's count and maybe we can try to count to 20. Can you count to 20 with me? Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 
10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Very good, everyone. Now let's talk about our lesson for today. Now we have been talking for the whole of this week about eating healthy, our food groups, and making good food choices. Now we have to talk about something that is very important, good hygiene habits or good habits. And good habits start from as soon as you get up in the morning. And you're probably wondering what kind of habits are good habits. Well, I'm going to tell you, I have my little friend here and we are going to make a little example so that you know what are good choices to make every day, all right? You can start by making up your bed. See how nice my little friend here made up his bed, all right? So after he got up in the morning, he made sure that he made his bed. Next, he goes to the bathroom. He uses the washroom, washes his hands, right? And then he starts to brush his teeth. And brushing your teeth is something very important that we must do. That's one of our good habits and good hygiene, right? So he has his little toothbrush here and he starts brushing his teeth up and down, side to side, in the back, in the front, round and round. He also brushes his tongue and that's very important, right? And after he brushes his teeth, now it's time to go and have a nice breakfast. And our friend here has good manners, so he says, Good morning, good morning, good morning, right? And he goes and has his healthy breakfast because we learned about food groups and healthy choices that we can make for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, right? So he's going to have a nice piece of sada roti and some baigan choka. Isn't that nice? Or he can have a banana, he can have some fry bake, and he can have some saltfish bojo. Nice, right? And after he eats his meal, he gets up from the table and he asks to be excused. So he asks to be excused from the table and now he takes his plate and his cup that he drank his tea with and puts it in the sink or he washes it, right? Because those are some helpful things that you can do to help your mom and your dad at home. Because you are home, you can help and do some chores. So after he has his breakfast, he can do his chores. He can start by washing the dishes for breakfast or he can help mommy sweep or clean or whatever else your mom and your dad tell you to do, right? After he's finished and he clears the table, he is going to take a little walk outside because it's important to get fresh air, right? So he goes outside and he takes a nice walk in the morning sun and breathes in that nice clean air. Right, so after our friend gets a nice walk outside, it's almost time for lunch, okay? He plays a little bit and now it's time for lunch. Now he has a nice healthy lunch, right? He's having pale out today and of course you have to have some coleslaw. So he's having his pale out today and he's going to eat some coleslaw. So he's making more healthy food choices, right? And after he has his lunch, he can go and hang out with his brother, his sister and play outside in the yard a bit more right and he's making sure to do his work he's going to watch trini kids tv video yes it's about that time and he has lots of fun now it's dinner time and he's going to make some healthy dinner choices right so he could, he's going to have some cricks and he's going to have some cheese after he has his cricks and cheese he might watch a little movie with his his mommy and his daddy and his brother, our sister. And now it's time to get ready for bed. Yes, but it's something that he has to do because he ate all this nice, healthy, delicious food. 
yes he has to brush his teeth that's very 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 important so he's going to brush his teeth before he goes to bed now he takes out his toothbrush and puts on his toothpaste and he's going to brush his teeth so i'm going to show you how you can brush your teeth okay and i have my trusty teeth here and i'm going to brush show you how i brush my teeth with my giant toothbrush right so first of all we have some little things that are stuck in our friend's teeth from his nice delicious lunch that we had so we need to make sure that we are getting all of that out right so we start brushing and brushing oh it's coming all out all right nice so we brush our teeth like that up and down round and round in the top and on the bottom and the side you brush your tongue it's very important right so you brush the front like that great job so this is the way you can brush your teeth how many times should we brush our teeth well we should brush our teeth at least two times a day that would mean in the morning when you wake up and at night before you go to sleep or you can also brush your teeth at lunch time after you have your lunch all right everyone it's craft time and today we are going to make a mouth yes a mouth because we're going to be practicing brushing our teeth so what i am using i have a folder here just a regular plastic folder you can use um paper or bristol board if you would like also you need some scissors some glue paint and i have my egg carton here and these are going to be what i'm using to make my teeth for my mouth okay so i'm going to start by cutting out you're going to draw onto your folder a round shape so almost like a semicircle shape and i already cut it out here so as you can see i have a semicircle shape that i'm going to use for my mouth right and i can open it up and this is a this is what it looks like opened out right next i'm going to start by cutting out my teeth so i'm going to take some time and cut this out and we'll come back right all right so i have a couple of them here i'm just going to show you how i'm going to arrange them before i glue them now, if you have a hot glue gun you can use that but you can use regular glue and you just need to leave them for a while and let them dry properly okay so you could probably space them out and put a few now if you want you could put some teeth to the top of this one as well but i i'm just going to use a few for just to make the bottom of them out okay so we're going to cut out a few more and stick them all right so i have teeth the amount of teeth that i want for the top i'm just going to do the top and you could do the bottom if you well the top if you like i'm just doing the bottom and i cut out a little tongue make a little semi circle there and stick that right there with my glue i'm going to put my teeth together glue them down you can even paint this white if you like but i'm going to leave it just like this for the while and that is how you make your teeth now you could go ahead and put some play-doh or plasticine in the in between the teeth and you can have your child pretend to brush and floss so that they practice good hygiene right so i hope you enjoyed our craft today